Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you enjoyed the dev strike on the Z52 there in the Holland. <laughs> I certainly did, and uh, which leads us into today's game on Okinawa. It's a domination game in the Holland, and uh, it's an interesting one. It required a little bit of thought, and uh, yeah, anyway, you'll see what happens. So initial position east of the Charlie Cap, uh, quite deep, I want to spot what's going on and help our sub here on the left. Gearing turns up for the enemy and uh, he's spotted, and he's not interested really and he's running which is fine. Um, the enemy subs in the cap spotted me so yeah brave sir robin time again no gunfire from uh, either of us when we came into contact with each other there um, i was quite surprised really that the gun the gearing didn't didn't shoot his guns obviously the gearing's got the uh, ability to smoke up whereby if you're driving the Halland, you don't have that luxury, of course, so you need to be a little bit more cautious when opening fire. So I'm going to head back to the cap, and the sub's right in front of me, so I think we'll... Yeah, here we go, here we go. We can maybe get some depth charges into, into this one. And uh, apparently he's on fire. And he's taken 9, 10, 11 depth charges. And he's still alive. So, yeah. Subs, man. Subs. You've heard me bang on about subs in the past. <clears throat> Not my favourite class in the game, by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, I think probably for all of you, if you, you're driving a DD, what can you do unless you've got a Hydro DD, like a Z52 or Z42 or something like that, you, you're pretty much screwed. Unless um, the enemy DD's detected by your own sub, really. <clears throat> so I'm going to head back to the cap. SGR. My clan mate there's uh, going in. He's going to see if he can do anything with that sub. He's going to struggle to spot him as well, no doubt. <coughs> uh, that initial salvo of torpedoes didn't do much, unfortunately. Torpedoes dead ahead. But, you know, we're determined to get this cap circle. And... Uh, there's still something in there, isn't there? And our U2501 is getting hammered by uh, the enemy Halland, by the look of it. I'm going to open fire on it. Fairly risky move. I'm in front of quite a lot of enemy ships here. And I'm on fire. But it does look as though... Uh, our team are paying attention and the enemy Helen goes down thankfully. Gearing opens fire at long range. Slow down, duke some of his shots. And we've got the Charlie cap, you know, which is that was the ultimate goal, really, to get the uh, the Charlie cap obviously. SGR's driving back in, see if he can do something about the sub, I think. <coughs> so there's a Balao for the enemy. Care first gearing Yoshino Yamato on this side. So at this point I decide because Bravo Cap is absolutely free, I need to get into Bravo Cap. <coughs> This set of torps are looking quite nice on the curve first. 
Oh, that's five. That'll do. That's all right. Some damage on the board. And off to off to Bravo Cap now. The enemy seem fairly kind of standoffish. They're not pushing in, are they? Apart from the Shimakaze in Alpha Cap. I would suggest also that our team <laughs> they're not really interested either, are they? So, you know, it's up to me again in this Bravo cap. See if I can take it. I have a feeling, though, that the uh, the enemy gearing might be around somewhere. Well, he will, he is, isn't he? So, and uh, SJR is chasing the sub. So, yeah. And oh, here we go. Enemy gearing. Yamato's taking shots at me. Put the brakes on and send some fish in at the smoke screen. Didn't want to open fire in uh, in that situation at all. That would probably have been a death sentence. Hans concealment's not great. It looks as though those fish were quite close to the gearing there, but you know, no joy. <clears throat> so always worth uh, to live a, another day so to speak <laughs> you know so the enemy Shimakaze is pushing into Bravo in the middle the enemy battleships uh, coming over towards uh, our spawn camp in force as well with uh, lots of health So I'll take this opportunity to line up on the Schlieffen when the torps uh, come off cooldown and we'll send the fish. Torpedoes direct front. And we'll slow down by the island. <clears throat> Ultimately I don't really want to get involved with the gearing. Because he can, he can do a nasty number on me. So, fish out on the Schlieffen. And, and now, the plan is to get into the Alpha Cap and help the guys over in the north. wonder if these fish are going to hit anything. It's worth a look, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's seven into Schlieffen. That's not bad. Quite pleased with that. Good strike. The top's ne nearly off cooldown again. <clears throat> Unfortunately, ATAM's isolated in the Charlie Cap, and uh, SJR is still going after that enemy sub. <laughs> really hope he gets him. Our Thunder takes out the Kerr first that was in front of me. So this is a free cap. It's always nice to take a free cap. Unless the gearing decides to turn up again. But we'll see about that. <clears throat> so I'm just sending, sending some random fish out. Ideally I want to get this cap. So uh, increase our points lead. And then we can have an easy time of it, hopefully. And, uh, you know, it looks as though the enemy team are uh, struggling somewhat. They've been quite passive here. 
SGR does take down the sub, which is super. <clears throat> I think I remember him, remember him telling me after this game that it took 10 death charges to kill him. So it took 11 from me and 10 from my friend in the Grozovoy there, which seems absolutely ridiculous, doesn't it? I mean, 21 death charges to kill a sub. It's absolutely insane, isn't it? Meanwhile, I've got mine to uh, send the Sheena some fish. <laughs> Let's see if he's hungry. He's turning away, so it's a bit of a lottery, isn't it? <clears throat> Predicting where the enemy are going to go. I mean, thankfully, I've pretty much upgraded the Halland torpedoes to the max, so they're doing 90 knots. Very quick. Oh, but he's turning back, isn't he? Mm, that's, that initial set certainly won't hit him. Unless he turns back in. But, he's turning back in. <laughs> oh yeah, he's turning back in. So, that initial set might have a chance. Let's see. Yeah, they're looking quite nice. <laughs> looking quite nice indeed. Victory is in sight. And that's another four fish. Torpedo tube reload times reduced. Yeah, I don't think that Yoshino is going to survive. And he goes down to our thunder. Lovely. So now, my next target will be the Mecklenburg. Could probably send on Yamato as well, but he's yeah, he's a more difficult target. Travelling away. <clears throat> and here we go. Fish are up already. Victory is in sight. Speed boots back to Charlie Cap. Gearing still at large. Send the second set at Mecklenburg. In hindsight, I probably should have sent those to the Yamato, but I think he's going to be heavily outgunned anyway. Oh, we've got some fish in front of us. Time to react. Oof. Just avoid those. <laughs> and I managed to get the Mecklenburg. Well, those torpedoes were close. <clears throat> I'm not sure whether the gearing was sending those on uh, now Smolensk there, possibly. But he's smoked up right in front of us. So. Fish back off cooldown, five seconds. Yamato goes down. I'll send another fish at the spot. But the gearing is not daft, is he? He's played a kind of game as this player. He's not daft at all. But he is spotted, and he's not going to be unspotted at this point. So, yeah, that was a win. And a reasonable game in Halland, not the Confederate. 19 fish hits, 11 depth charges. Um, nearly enough to get me close to the top of the, the board. So, happy with that. It's a good one. Only the Mecklenburg on the hit list there, but plenty of damage into the Schlieff and Kerfurst, Yoshino, a bit into the Balao and the Halland. So, yeah, as always guys, thanks ever so much for watching, really appreciate it, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Okay, bye bye.